it's time to get to some of the evening's most outstanding looks on the red carpet. So, T, one thing we saw a lot of this year was what we like to call the icy trend. Yes. We're talking cool pastels, iridescent whispers of color, and slightly metallic finishes. Lainey, do you want to kick things off? Well, I mean, I'm glad we kicked things off with Florence Pugh. Yes. I mean, woo, that is, I called that an icy sandworm from Dune because I feel like it evoked a little bit of the sandworm action that we saw. But my favorite icy look, um, this look, above this, all, this Judy Emily, Jetson yes. look. On Emily is Blunt, for sure. Survey. Survey. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's what right? she was saying. It's like a space age like situation. A space age. 100%. And if you saw the front, it's, she's got a superhero situation going yeah. on, ra- on around her waist and a, a beautiful train. John Krasinski, the, her husband, he looks hot too. With those no first two examples? Issues tonight no, no, no. They're, they're in very much in What'd love. What'd you say? I was about to say, with those first two examples, we're still seeing a lot of ice as well, a lot yeah. of diamonds, yes. oh, some yes. Bulgari, some lots of jewelry going on. Everyone right now. is was rich. Yeah, yes. oh, super. <laughs> it was super Hollywood glam. The icy <laughs> doesn't only apply to the fabrics, but and to then the also too. Davine 100%. Joy Randall oh. um, in like icy blue, pale blue. Picture perfect. Those sleeves are giving mm-hmm. me life. Yeah, you and know she what? She looks so confident. I was just about to. Oh, yeah. Oh, took the look words at that. Right out of my touch me, touch me. She on looked that. confident. She looked calm. She looked powerful. She looked like she was about to walk in and have that clean sweep of award season. I think they picked the right color, the right dress, the right sleeves, the right train uh, to represent this icy theme, but then also to represent a person that hasn't lost this year. No. You know, I, also, I really love the symmetry of this because, as you said, she hasn't lost. She won tonight for Best Supporting Actress in this pale blue, which matched the person on stage mm-hmm. who presented to her, who introduced Introduced her performance, oh, that Lupita. would have been Lupita Nyong'o, wow, yes, who yes, was yes, yes. the icy look that I loved so much tonight. And Lupita also, Lupita also wore this color when she won 10 years ago in 2014 for 12 Years a Slave. So I yeah. love all that symmetry. But Lupita just looked so, compo- like so confident as well. I mean, giving body and an emerging trend from tonight: the peplum, the feather peplum that we saw a lot of. Um, we saw so much peplum tonight that I do think it's going to be coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tracy, what did you think of this? I mean, yeah. Lupita has that glow on, yeah. that glow uh, of award yeah. show glow, what and else? maybe glow of love. Yes. I mean, she's yes. come back from vacation with Joshua Jackson. Yes. We saw all the PDA happening. But, oh, she's a new gentleman caller. <laughs> That would be Joshua oh. Quinn, by the way, yeah, yes. her co-star. So she likes Joshua. Yeah. That's what I take from that. You know what? I, it's and one she thing to see uh, PDA online in pictures with her, yeah. but the holding hands and all the touching on the red carpet, that, that's different. That's different. <laughs> that's next level. Look at her, glowing. glowing. Let me just uh, fact check myself. Joshua Twi- uh, Quinn, not. It was Joseph Quinn. There okay. Mm. Yeah. She likes Jays. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's one thing that wasn't a surprise to me. Tell me. Someone that I am a huge fan of, Anya Taylor. Oh, Boy. you do yes. love your Anya. That's your girl. Oh, you love my your goodness. Anya. So me and her had a moment on the carpet because we were chatting, and she was like, oh, look at all those diamonds on you. And I was like, well, look at all the diamonds on you. And we, we had a bond over diamonds. So icy, An icy once bond. Again. Yeah. An icy yeah, bond. Yeah, a nice little icy bond. I like how you casually worked in that you could match her diamonds, though. Do we like have the clip? Because you... I would love to see that. <laughs> I think we need a close-up of your ring. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's yeah. recap. Yes, looking lovely. Thank you so much. Inspired by the birth of Venus. Okay. All right, well, thank you so much for stopping. You, you look incredible. Diamonds. 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 Diamonds are forever, darling. Diamonds. It's Hollywood, baby. By love. Oh, Diamonds I, are forever. That dress, though, I was just talking about peplum, and there was sort of a peplum situation there, too, in the shape of it. Okay, so that dress, as it was, when she was at the photo wall and she was making her way to our, our position... It almost looked like scales, the way it felt. Yeah. That's Th- this dress, look, see what I mean? Like, scalloping, right? Oh, Absolutely. Oh my this dress was put together so well. This is actually stunning. Did I pick her as my favorite? Because I might have to switch. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, was, this was a stunning dress I in person. I feel like and she's it looks forever your too. fave. Yeah. Yeah, you really, I mean, it's I, all that dripping ice and, yes. And a, this, a, like, lot, a lot of statement necklaces with definitely. center stones tonight. We're seeing a lot of 
gorgeous earrings. I mean, she is breathtaking. Well, I've been saying that the enthusiasm for award season is up this year, especially following the strike. I feel like everybody's renewed their vows to what it is oh. that they love. They're, they and, outside. And Stars they, are yeah. outside. They're no outside. one misses the red carpet more than the celebrities. Well, I mean, they are like the most. I mean, look at us. We're outside. We're outside in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> but this, they they did not hold back at all. We're seeing all the jewelry, the best outfits, custom Versace, custom this. It's. I love it. It's Hollywood. Okay, but we got to talk about the next person. We have to talk about my fave. Oh, right. Sorry. My fave. I know, I know, I know. Oh. It's going to be a, very, a surprise Comment. for all of okay, you. What, what? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Hey. When, he <laughs> <laughs> when he hit the carpet in his Dolce & Bana, fitted, I mean... So we saw okay. a lot yes. of gentlemen yeah. mm -hmm. with the deep plunge tonight, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. no one did it better than The Rock. Everything is tailored within an inch of his life. He's got a little, he's got that little <laughs> smile on. He came in in sunglasses. Christian Louboutin boots on. Yeah, you know. Oh. He, I was with a... Tracy the moment he arrived. Yeah. Don't embarrass me. And no, I will say that you were very excited yes. and professional. And no, I wasn't. Wanted... I was none of those things. But thank you for saying that. No, I think he's 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 giving me icy hot. Oh, I think that's the yeah. word for, for DJ. Rub it on. That's it. it. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, I was curious to hear from you because I think it's a choice to wear a shiny suit. Okay. Right? So here's the thing. Not often does any uh, man pull off a shiny suit well. Yeah. Not often. It, that's very risky. But. This is my favorite outfit I've ever seen The Rock in, hands down. I don't even have to, I don't have to Google images. I don't have to think back to anything. This is the best I've seen him show up. He wore the scarf. Mm-hmm so well, he wore the scarf in place of a shirt. It, There's no shirt. Oh, I yeah. know. There's, I know. There's no shirt. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's later. It's, She's it's, aware. Like, I know, I know. And, it also, and also, it was just tucked in just so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stop it. Okay. Well, while we ruminate on that, let's talk about the person who everyone was excited to see the moment the Academy announced her as a presenter. I think social media already popped mm -hmm. off because whenever she shows up anywhere and she's been showing up yeah. outside a lot lately, uh, it has been a moment. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, yeah. so that would be Zendaya. Yeah. And we can all agree, no one does a red carpet mm -hmm. like Ms. Zendaya. This is Armani Privé. It is breathtaking and also on theme with the iciness of yes. it, right? Mm -hmm. Are those like leaves or I, I was trying to make out what that what the, the what darker the color was. was. Yeah, the pattern. But either way, look, we've been seeing Zendaya really show out consistently. That promo tour for Dune Part Two was yeah. literally her, an education in yeah. fashion. We her, go contemporary, we go archive, and then tonight Armani Armani Privé like wowzers. Her and Silas La Roche, they have such a wonderful collaboration. Shout out La Roche. And, and I, I, I don't mean to say that it's, a, it's an astrological thing, but you know, she's a Virgo too. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Shout out to all she's our Virgo Virgos. Too, you know. <laughs> okay, so you know what? Zendaya is always going to be best dressed. She's in her own category. Yeah, yeah. But my other fave of the night, I have to say, is Carrie Mulligan. Uh, Carrie Mulligan all season long has been doing interesting black dresses that don't all look the same. And tonight, I mean, this is a showstopper. It's Belen. Uh, so it's Balenciaga. It is, I believe, archival. Mm. So the fact that she was able to go in deep into the fashion catalog and pull out this amazing work of art, look at it. Tyron, you saw it up close. Listen, I saw it up close. I asked her for a quick fashion moment. She nailed it. 10 out of 10. Love, Carrie. It looks like a piece of a work of art. Yeah. And I oh. love when, when the stars bring out the opera gloves. It yeah. just harkens back to old Hollywood. Uh, I'm going to have to talk about my favorite, too. Please Go do. Go for it. Uh, Ariana Grande hey. in Jean Battista Valley. I mean, the bubblegum pink. You know, she's got new music out. Yeah. She's feeling herself. She's blonde. I like she did a, a different alternative of the ponytail. And uh, she looks like she's having fun. For me, this is an Oscar dress. I feel like this dress could be polarizing. But I think it goes back to the time when people took real chances on the red carpet. I go back to Cher and Bob Mackey and, and people making choices like that. And I think this is a dress that people will be talking about for a long time to come. And she looks like she's just having fun. Okay, my turn. Oh, you're oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my turn. I want to talk about America Ferrer. Oh, yes. I've seen this dress up close. It's still icy. It's still within the theme. Mm -hmm. It's custom Versace. And it is absolutely stunning 
in person. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I looked at her, I said, this has to be custom because it is, you the said fit? one inch of her, le- yes, the fit the is, fit I've never is, seen any, the fit yeah. is fitting. Yeah. The fit, I don't even say it's that, but I, flawless. I have to look at it. You just did. The fit <laughs> is flawless. It, yeah. it has, it has a, a, an illusion of, of, of being liquid, you know? Yeah. yeah. It just really, it, it enhances her silhouette. And I think with her, because we've only seen her in a lot of black yeah. over award season, it was nice to see her in Barbie pink. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.